Hello friends, we will talk about uh, the error messages in uh, the VLOOKUP uh, function and also some of the traps that VLOOKUPs, VLOOKUP gets us in. Okay. Uh, first of all, please note that VLOOKUP is exactly on uh, similar lines as HLOOKUP. Uh, VLOOKUP is in terms of columns while HLOOKUP is in terms of rows. In other words, VLOOKUP is where we uh, count the column numbers of the item that we are looking for. Uh, in HLOOKUP, we will count the row number of the value that we are looking for. Okay, So VLOOKUP is vertical, HLOOKUP is horizontal. right? Uh, but some of the error messages that it gives, but that, that both these functions give are uh, same. A very commonly uh, found error message that it gives is hash NA. Yeah, it's not really, really an error message. It doesn't tell us that uh, there is a problem in the form function, right? Uh, it just says that there is no matching found. Yeah, so uh, it's not really an error. But if you wish to get rid of that message, we can do. Uh, uh, you can use another function to to do, to do that. Okay. Now let's take a look at the data here. I have already applied the VLOOKUP uh, in the column that is. Uh, that has the header as incentives, I-N-C-E, all right? It's the I column of this uh, uh, ORG data sheet. Okay, let's press F2 here to expose the formula, all right? So uh, VLOOKUP has been done already. It's got four parameters. Let me quickly walk you through the four parameters. The first one is lookup value. The common uh, column between the two data sets that we are working on is taken as the lookup value. So in this case, it's the employee code. Hence, I've taken the A4 cell. Uh, source data, okay, so that the table array parameter has, uh, has the table selected. The table has been given to us in the next sheet by the name source data, and hence there is an exclamation mark right after source data, and uh, right from D to G, that is D, E, F, G, these four columns are selected. Yep, yeah, the source data sheet is right here. I hope you can see the blinking uh, circles, right? Okay, uh, then uh, I have also given four as column index number because I was looking for incentives and the incentive figures were given to me in the fourth column of the table. Zero has been put because uh, I, was, I was looking to do an exact match. Uh, we can also put false in case uh, we do not want to manually punch the zero in. All right. So that's the VLOOKUP. Now Excel could find that uh, employee code number one was available in the source data. Hence it has given us 5633 as the answer. Let's quickly verify that. So I can quickly navigate to my source data and I can see that the first employee was eligible to receive 5633. That is correct. Yep, 2355 was meant for the employee code number 5. Let's check if VLOOKUP has displayed that. So yes, 2355 has been shown against 5. So the VLOOKUP has done its job. But on the instances where there was no match found, for example, employee code number 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, 7 and so on, right? So for instances where there was no match found, it has given us the hash and a okay so we can use the uh, if error function to eliminate this uh, hash and a message and we can decide what needs to be put in place of that okay so let's come to the very first cell i can press f2 to expose the formula by default my cursor is on the extreme um, right that is at the end of the function so i can press the home key on my keyboard to navigate to the uh, starting point of the function. Uh, I will also have to use my arrow right to <laughs> come after equal to. So my cursor is now kept between the equal to and the V, right? This is where I will do the if error. So IFE tab, okay? IFE tab, it comes up with a tooltip that has two parameters, value 
and value if error value well the entire vlookup which is already done will be treated as value okay so the value parameter has already been taken care of i do not need to do it again let's now press the end key on the keyboard which means i will uh, come towards the extreme end of the function i can put up a comma because there is a comma after value okay it says value if error what is it that i would like to display in place of that hash na if it's a zero i can simply put in zero if it's a blank that i want to display i can say double quotes double quotes that's it or if i wish to show some text uh, i can simply initiate double quotes write the text that i'm interested in close the double quotes and that's it so for now since we are dealing with a case of incentives uh, i will put zero because the employees who are eligible to get incentives will already have their incentives displayed by the vlookup uh, by the exact match case of vlookup and uh, the employees who are not eligible to receive incentives we are now going to show zero in place of the hash na for them okay so that's it i am done with my if error and uh, there is uh, there is a there is a case of two functions used within one cell hence i will press a double enter okay a control double enter or simply double enter that's it it's done then i will not forget to do a double click okay double click and see it replaces all the hash na values with zeros okay this is how you use the uh, if error function to eliminate the hash na from vlookup or same can be done to do uh, to, to eliminate hash na from edge lookup all right now let's just see another uh, trap that uh, vlookup gets us into okay now notice here that in the source data the employee code column is the very first column of the table okay while selecting in the vlookup we had selected from d to g right we did see this when we had pressed f2 on the vlookup let's see this again so in the source data we had selected from d to g okay so the d column was taken as the first column right uh, the employee code was considered as the common uh, column between the two sheets the source data sheet and the organizational data sheet right i just keep doing control page down and control page up to navigate between the two adjacent sheets all right so let's assume that the employee code was not the first column in our selection all right let's just do a swap between the education and the employee code okay so i will just uh, select the entire uh, education column put it here and i'll just do a swap so what has happened now is education becomes the first column in 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 the d okay and employee code becomes the second column in e all right now let's so we have not added anything we've not deleted anything we've just swapped the positions of the first and the second column please note that employee code was the first column earlier it is not the case anymore all right let's go to the vlookup now and there you go everything has gone for a toss the employees who were getting incentives are now not getting incentives so vlookup has put us into a trap by not having the the common column as the first column in our selection so notice here that uh, so please note here that uh, we will have to ensure that uh, the employee code column which is the common column between the two uh, sheets has to be the first one or the leftmost one while doing our selection all right okay so let's quickly change this back so i move it here all right uh I'll move this back to normal the way it was earlier save it control s back to vlookup and there you go automatically it has uh, brought back those incentive figures for those employees who were eligible to receive incentives similarly for edge lookup also let's quickly just take a look at edge lookup now so uh, let's come here i've already done uh, a case of edge lookup here okay now uh, for for edge lookup it's the first row that matters 
For VLOOKUP, it was the first column. For HLOOKUP, it's the first row that matters. So let's take an example. I, I disturb this entire uh, first row, okay? And there you go. It automatically shows the hash NA. If I bring back the first row, it's, it's back to uh, square one. So uh, these are the traps in VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP and uh, we also saw the methods to overcome them.